has always built facilities that its customers don't want. In fact, they have never listened to their customers when it comes to building facilities at Dublin Airport. Go through a process of, thanks very much, sit down there, what do you want? Yeah, thanks very much. We'll put it into our master plan, we'll get back to you. And then the master plan, remember, and none of you guys remember the history of the second terminal. The second terminal was originally proposed by the DAA at a cost of 200 million euros. In fact, it was 167 million euros. We were the only airline at the time to come out and support the second terminal. And then it morphed under Martin Cullen, God help us, into a 1.2 billion white elephant that was then pushed through by a government direction to the regulator because of the pressure on facilities at Dublin Airport. And then that other clown, Noel Dempsey, arrived along a year later and pushed through a price increase because they directed that the regulator should prioritise the financial viability of the DAA over all other concerns. And so you have the DAA monopoly going to the downtown office in Kildare Street and pushing out directions when they wanted to build. I mean, everybody, I don't know, like Kevin Tolan was, I think he was knocking out Huey products in Chicago at the time when Ryanair was opposing the second uh, terminal or the 1.2 billion second terminal. So the idea that the DAO only builds the cities that its customers want is complete and utter rubbish. We showed up at the opening of the second terminal with a coffin, even though they had put the nail in Irish shoes and lo and behold, uh, traffic at the time, um, now mainly because of the travel tax, traffic at Dublin declined from 28 million passengers to close to 20 million passengers in the two or three years while the second terminal uh, after the second term had been opened. And all of the growth that has happened since uh, the travel tax has been abolished in 2014 hasn't taken place in T2. It's been in T1. It's us. Mayor Lingus hasn't grown. They're still lobbing along at 10 million and change. Okay, there's a little bit of growth on the transatlantic. But all the transatlantic growth is having to go into uh, Terminal 1 through the old Pier B because you can't fit it onto the shortage of stands on Terminal 2.